good afternoon everyone uh, welcome to the poster presentation session number 7 we'll move on to the first uh, poster presentation poster presentation number 32 the pattern of occlusive arterial diseases in sri lankan patients the authors are disoisa md aruchel mj the presenting author is disoisa md good afternoon everyone and thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, do the pr poster presentation here uh, in our study, we have uh, uh, done the pattern of the occlusive arterial disease in the patients in teaching hospital under the put the patients number is uh, around 100 and me and uh, my consultant vascular surgeon uh, Dr. Joel Aruchavam and uh, we have uh, during this study we have done the uh, the risk factors including the risk factors and also who need the revascularization including uh, the computer tomography angiograms we have done the study in this presentation so in uh, the results uh, mostly the occl occlusive arterial disease mostly the men's are involved around 81 percent the men's are involved and the mean age is 67 percent and the most of them must smokers it is 63 percent and in the comorbidities it's mostly the diabetic it's it is 63 uh, it is 65 percent and the hypertension ischemic heart disease chronic uh, kidney disease and uh, we can see mostly the diabetic patients also getting more arterial occlusive uh, arterial disease and the and also the, we have found the, the present the presentation, uh, the clinical presentation, cl uh, clinical limb ischemia and the wrist pain, most of them are presented with the ulcers and the gangrene. Uh, so the ga and uh, because uh, this, this present uh, ulcers are gangrene because we who needed the vascular intervention has uh, done this. So and uh, in. Uh, but in this study, the most of us believe that the distal ar arterial disease is, is associated with the diabetes, but we could not find any during our studies. And, uh, but uh, in conclusion, the distal arterial occlusive disease is the most commonest. And the study does not show any association with diabetes, and also in the because this is only limited number, 100 patients, we cannot come to a conclusion. We have to do widely in the countrywide. We have to do a research and we have to come to a conclusion how is uh, the association. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, the post is open for discussion. So, uh, yeah, the good presentation, uh, very useful one also. Uh, now, this population that you are used, they are mainly limited to the Anuradhapur area or the north, north central province. Yes, sir. Yeah. And now, uh, you said that you want to find an association, isn't it? Yes, so the uh, Now, the, the data that you have presented are, are mostly descriptive. Were you able to do any comparison or maybe like a chi-square between smokers, non-smokers and having ulcers, that kind of have you gone into the deeper level? analysis in your data? Uh, no, sir. We, we haven't. Uh, most of them are came with smokers presented with, so I haven't gone in deep. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, the currently it's mainly descriptive. Isn't descriptive it? studies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, thank you. Let's give a round of applause to the presenter. Thank you.